Hello, this is Oliver Bürkler, Senior Technical Product Manager for 3D Laser Scanners at Faro. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to load scan data into the new AutoCAD 2011 Point Cloud platform. With the 2011 release of AutoCAD, Autodesk introduced a completely new feature which is called Point Cloud Platform. This is providing a very powerful uh, possibility to display laser scanner point clouds directly within your AutoCAD environment. For this example, I'm using a set of 13 laser scans which have been captured to record the inside and outside area of a private building. The command to handle scan data in AutoCAD is called Point Cloud. It offers you four different options and the first one you have to select is Index. Indexing will create a Point Cloud database out of your scan data. With the first file selector box you have to define the source data where your scan data resides. First you choose the right file format, in this case FWS for our workspace, and then you select the workspace file you want to import into AutoCAD. In the next file selector dialog you have to specify the file name for the Autodesk Point Cloud database which will be stored in PCG file format. Now AutoCAD will import the scan data in a background process which is indicated by an animated Point Cloud icon in the bottom line of your AutoCAD window. Depending on the amount of data and your computer power the import may take a while. As soon as it is finished, AutoCAD will present you a bubble message with a link to the imported point cloud file. If you click on the link, you can directly import the file into your drawing. You just have to specify the import scale and the insertion point, which you may do on screen or you can do it in this dialog box here. In case you want to import a PCG file which is already created, you have to use the point cloud command again, but this time you choose the option A for attach and then you pick the PCG file from the location on your hard drive. By default AutoCAD is displaying 15% of the points available in memory. If you want to change this, you use the point cloud command again. This time you type in the option D for density and then you can enter any percentage you like between 1% and 100%. In this case we will change the setting from 15% to 65% and you will see on the screen what happens to the point cloud. That's it for now. Thank you for watching this Faro video tutorial.